Okay, so what you see here on the workbench is indeed an old Dell XPS 730 H2C, vintage 2008. I've owned the machine for about eight or nine years. Um, it was sold originally into Switzerland for the first four years of its life. And having now done 12 years of service, I thought it was probably time that the old girl received an upgrade that was worthy of this magnificent case. And just look at that case. It's the most fantastic thing, isn't it? Solid black aluminium, anodized aluminium case and chassis. 1.6 mil thick. The whole case on its own weighs about 22 kilograms. Reminds me somewhat of an old American uh, motor car with the wings at the back, which uh, kind of replicate the feet, those lovely silver feet at the back. It's just the most magnificent thing, isn't it? So it's now received the, uh, the heart and lungs, which it deserves in 2020 to retain its position in the, uh, the gaming arena. See, we've taken the side panel off and uh, behind that wonderful aluminium side panel with that glorious glass X which has been laser cut into it we see that the old Dell motherboard H2C water cooler and uh, just about everything else has disappeared and in its place you can see a brand new ASUS B550 Tough Gaming Plus motherboard which has been fitted with uh, an AMD Ryzen 3 3100 CPU, four cores, eight threads, and we've uh, replaced the stock cooler with um, the AMD Wraith Prism cooler, which is a fantastic affair. Um, we've retained the um, original master control board as you can see just up there and its functionality which drives the front and rear theatre lighting in this machine and that's still fully operational. The old original graphics cards have been replaced and we have in here uh, two Sapphire Dual X R9 280X graphics cards. They're three gigabyte overclocked graphics cards and they're running in a Crossfire X configuration and that will supply the uh, owner with enough graphics power to do any 1080p gaming that they, uh, that they wish. So that's a nod to the original uh, setup of this machine in its Dell years when it had uh, twin graphics cards, not of this vintage, they were slightly older. So as you can see it's been uh, completely rewired, uh, we've retained all the original features of the machine including the four removable drive bays which are still wired to accept um, SATA drives, five and a quarter inch drives or three and a half inch drives, whichever you prefer. Okay, so the machine itself has um, been furnished with a uh, NVMe uh, boot drive. 500 gigabyte NVMe boot drive which sits just above the processor and fan unit just up there as you can see between the first graphics card and the uh, CPU so that's a PCIe 3 PCI 3.0 uh, NVMe uh, SSD um, it's uh, it's a Kingston A2000 and that will do uh, 2200 megabits per second read and 2000 megabits per second write. So it's a uh, fantastic uh, addition to this machine. The case has also been uh, refurbished with um, Cooler Master fans, front and rear. They're all ARGB fans, as is the Wraith Prism on top of the CPU. And there is also a uh, ARGB lighting strip which runs across the bottom of the machine. 
the original wiring's all been tidied up and the new wiring's all been uh, cable tied and neatly clipped to leave the proper air paths and airflow that we need in this machine now that it's been upgraded with this uh, new motherboard. So the motherboard's an uh, ASUS uh, Tough B550 Gaming Plus with all the uh, brand new features of the B550 chipset uh, including PCIe 4 and various other features. This particular machine's also been uh, fitted with uh, 16 gigabytes of XPG ARGB memory which sits just to the left of the processor there. So what we'll do next is we'll, uh, we'll power it up so we can see exactly what we have. This machine is currently around about 20 seconds and to power it up we'll uh, turn this lighting off so we can get a better picture of what's, uh, what's happening. see the original theatre lighting is still available at the back of the machine along with the uh, new Cooler Master ARGB fans and as you can see we're already up in Windows 10 configured with Windows 10 and all the various utilities, ASUS, uh, AMD, etc., that uh, you need to tune this machine to its uh, best performance, and uh, that has already been done. As we can see from the uh, this um, ASUS utility, uh, Fan Expert has been uh, configured, so all the fans are thermally controlled uh, by the VRM case temperature and the temperature of various other parts of the, the system. That's all been fully configured. The CPU has uh, been currently overclocked by about 5%. Uh, as we can see we've got a um, CPU frequency currently of 3800 MHz uh, from the stock uh, 3400 MHz that the AMD Ryzen 3 3100 comes, as, comes at. So it's been uh, fully fully configured. Windows 10 is fully licensed. It's also got uh, Norton Antivirus installed on it and uh, we give you a lifetime license for Norton Antivirus. So, yeah, another look at this magnificent beast in all its uh, glory. The case is absolutely amazing. I'm almost uh, in two minds as to whether to get rid of it or not. However it will be will be going up for sale fairly shortly so if there's any, any interest at all like I say this is a, a marvellous 1080p gaming rig fully refurbished Dell XPS 730 H2C Running virtually, uh, virtually silent. I say the fans have been configured correctly with Fan Expert. We still have the theatre lighting at the back, so you can see all the ports. You can see what you're doing. And the same at the front. Comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5, so the Wi-Fi is an A1200. Bluetooth is version 5, and that's courtesy of a USB uh, dongle which sits in one of the uh, USB 3 ports at the back. So Crossfire is active and running, so that will give you some fantastic gaming performance.
the original Dell XPS uh, front panel has been retained and behind there you can see um, there is one of the, the original uh, USB 2 card reader and we've also fitted a brand new USB 3 card reader which takes SD and micro SD and it's got a type C socket and two USB 3 sockets on it as well uh, the old USB 2 one which we've retained and is still operational uh, contains slots for uh, again uh, SD uh, MMC compact flash and XD and various other memory card formats and so they're all they're all operational uh, there's also a Blu-ray reader, CD-ROM reader, DVD reader writer. So there's a DVD burner in there as well. I say it's currently just got the one, the one hard drive, which is uh, an NVMe uh, Kingston A2000 NVMe drive, which is um, sitting in the M.2 underscore one slot on the motherboard, which leaves the second M.2 M2 dot uh, <laughs> M.2 underscore two slot free. So you could fit another NVMe drive in there if you so desired. All four of the uh, three and a half, five and a quarter inch uh, hard drive bays are currently free, and everything is wired and ready to accept drives if you want to do so. So we've retained the, the Dell master control board which is uh, lit up just there to the left of the motherboard and we've retained that to give us uh, two additional internal USB 2 headers and that also controls the um, theatre lighting on the front of the machine and the rear of the machine. Sure what price this will be going up for just yet, but a similar machine which uh, I I configured um, a few weeks ago um, on one of the um, customization sites was coming out around about a thousand pounds for this uh, type of performance and configuration. Okay, so from uh, this uh, video, we can see um, the drives that are in this machine, the USB drives down the left-hand side here. E, F, G, H, I and J, they relate to the two, the old USB 2, um, the old USB 2 card reader which is in behind the old XPS flap and the two new drives, the USB 3 card reader which uh, contains a an SD and a uh, micro SD card socket and two USB ports. Here we can see the local hard drive which is the NVMe, the uh, Kingston A2000 NVMe drive. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. So plenty of space there for games and stuff. Lots of uh, pre-installed software uh, on this machine. Uh, AMD Radeon software. And as we can see from here, we go down to the advanced option, uh, the uh, Crossfire the two graphics cards is um, set up correctly and functioning so your games that support crossfire and two graphics cards will certainly get a boost from that armory create sorry armory crate is also installed which gives you control over uh, your machines bios um, documentation drivers utilities and uh, other other stuff there so you can access all that from one place I say Norton Utilities or Norton 360 comes uh, included with this machine and that's going to be a lifetime uh, license for that so you wouldn't need to worry about that once uh, once you have the machine. AI Suite 3 which gives you access to fan expert, the fan tuning, um, CPU frequency, uh, all the voltages, temperature and other stuff, all the statistics you would ever need to look at with this machine. So it's all been pre-configured and tuned and set up correctly. AMD Ryzen 5 
Ryzen Master is also uh, installed. Which gives you uh, an overview of how the processor is running, voltages, clock speeds, so on and so forth, and uh, your ability to change various settings and tuning to do with the, uh, the AMD Ryzen 3 3100 four core processor. Okay, so the machine also comes with a Cronus True Image, which uh, you can use for backing, backing up your hard drive, uh, amongst other things. Let's just get rid of that. It's the free version which comes with the um, came with the um, uh, Kingston A2000 NVMe drive, which is your boot drive, and you can do lots of stuff with that. You can uh, clone disks backup stuff, uh, there's lots of other tools on there, um, there's a uh, Cronus Universal Restore, uh, Media Builder, Rescue Media Builder uh, and so on and lots of other features there which are all included, all installed and configured. <laughs> 